So hello friend, this is Rupesh and you're watching CVP Nuts video series on design patterns and this video is about a wrapper design pattern. This is a relatively simple design pattern but very useful design pattern. You will see this pattern like everywhere. So you would have seen in some meeting you are discussing something and then someone will tell you maybe some architect will tell that okay dude we have to write a wrapper over this. So what they exactly mean by that? So as name suggests wrapper is actually wrapping something. So you have a main thing which you will wrap right and why would you wrap something is the whole point so let's understand there is a std vector right i'll keep the example very simple this is very standard thing right now let's have a wrapper over it so let's consider this is your std vector we will have a wrapper over it so in order to access this guy you have to come or go through this guy so something like that so for example, std vector has a pushback mechanism, right? So you will not directly allow someone to push into this vector. You will have a wrapper over it and then you will take that value and push to the vector. And it might seem redundant job, but it is not. Actually, there is a meaning where we'll wrap something. So there are a few points. First point is it actually encapsulate the actual class and provide the interface to that actual class. And why we'll see that and second point is we have second point second point is which is very important it actually adds the functionality to the existing class without actually touching that class at all so let's say this is a standard vector right like you can write a wrapper vector and inside this class you will access standard vector and Client, I mean user will have to always create the object of this wrapper vector. I'll show you all the code. Just don't worry. I'm giving you a notion so that when you will see the code, you will pick up very fast. So yeah, we were talking about the adding functionality more to the existing vector. So let's assume that you have a requirement where you want to push to the vector, but you want to only push maybe odd numbers. But this vector doesn't have any checking like that. And if you add a wrapper over it, you can add any functionality or anything like you can put all those condition check whether the requirement is to push odd numbers or even numbers and stuff like that or maybe let's say multiple of three or multiple of five only should go to the vector otherwise if you are giving an array to push into the vector only multiple of five should go to the vector and rest should get discarded so all those things if you see this wrapper will help you a lot okay so this is like adding extra functionality second point Third is like they want to give you the same feeling that you are using the actual vector. So basically, I mean, I have not done that. But what I mean is in wrapper vector also, you will have a push back function, which will internally use, I mean, call this function only. So by keeping this function similar name, you are giving a transparent look to the wrapper and user knows that, okay, what this is going to do. So these were like main points. You can have like a number of points like client will not know the internal of your vector like std vector is your internal class, right? So let's suppose some class is there which is user defined class. Someone have created that class but you don't want to expose that class to the client. You will write a wrapper over it and then wrapper will just call the main APIs which is kept hidden from the user. So for that purpose also you can go for the wrapper. So there are like so many things you can come up as reason why would you go for wrapper so enough theory part let's go for the code now so if we will see that we have a vector wrapper this is actual vector and type is like a template type i'm keeping it more generic like you can push anything into this because the actual vector also takes this type parameter right so you have to go for the template here and it is very simple see we have created this wrapper we added the elements i could have just kept it like push back push back push back but as i told you that it can be anything maybe this add element will have some extra functionality like add even number then whatever you pass if it is even then only it will be pushed to the vector so anything you can be achieved with this so we have added three elements and then we are just simply printing them here so you can see that this is the simplest way you can think to wrap something. And let's say this add element here, you can easily check whether this number or whatever you have received is actually 
falls under the condition where you will actually push to the vector or not or maybe you will give some warning or something so all those things can be achieved here and if you just think everything is kind of a wrapper only so if you go so below to the computer level your computer understands 0 and 1 okay but we don't write 0 and 1 here right so 0 and 1 assembly high level and all that see the wrappers are there everywhere if I will compile this code, it is going to call high level code and that high level code will actually call the low level code. So that low level code is the actual function which is wrapped with the high level function. So if you see in programming world, you will find this wrapper concept everywhere. Okay. So for the sake of completeness, let me just run this. So if I'll compile it, it compiled and then if I'll run this, answer would be the vector has three elements. And the vector elements are 10 20 and 30 so in single line if i would summarize this wrapper adds the functionality to the base class like the internal class which you might be willing to hide or you don't want to touch that class because it is so perfect in nature and if you want to add something to the functionality you will write a wrapper over it you don't want to change the existing class and you will encounter these situation so many times when you are writing industry level code so extending the functionality is the goal then you should go for the wrapper thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care